In this lesson, we'll take a look at a diagram that will help us understand the extreme positions of a walk. So here it is, and as we can see, there are four extremes to a walk cycle. We have our contact position, and then following that is the down position, the lowest point in the walk. Something important to keep in mind about this pose is that for a more stylized character, we'd probably want to lower the hips a little bit more, so, so there's more of a bop to the animation. Now, for realistic characters, we wouldn't want to bring down the hips too much at that point. The down position is, at times, hardly noticeable, so we want to keep that in mind as we animate our characters. Definitely know your character before you actually begin animating, and at that point, if you're working on a walk cycle for your character, you'll know what type of exaggeration to add, if any. Now, following that, we have the passing position, where the opposite foot opposite the planted foot is starting to swing forward to get ready to plant. And then we have the peak position, the highest point in the walk where that opposite foot is just about to plant so we can cycle right back to the contact. Above these images we find a curve that is called our path of action. There are going to be similarities between this curve and our position Y axis in our F curve manager. So let's look for that. And then below we find the frames that these poses should land on. So let's keep all of this information in mind to build our walk cycle and make sure that in the end we have something that looks convincing and entertaining to watch. So that's going to be our goal. Well with that said, in the next lesson we'll begin animating.